I've never built one this big, so I gotta look at the direction. So, we're gonna do that about, how many more times? 45? Dude! Oh. It's time to unbox our area. Here we go. What is going on, Kferos? Welcome back to another video here today. Look what has arrived to my front door, the 15-foot pool pond that I have been mentioning in the past couple of videos that I was going to receive. The filtration still has yet to show up. I did get the tubing. I got everything right here. I got the tubing for the filter, the tubing for the aerators. Both aerators are right here. These will both go in the center of both pool ponds. The pump is already here. The big old air stones are already here for the whole aerating system. And then remember, I ordered that fountain. Let's see where I can find it. There it is, I marked the page. I ordered this fountain right here. It has three different features. If you didn't watch one of my last videos, you don't know this. There's the different spreads. It's the bigger one right there. So all this darker gray, that's the size spread that this fountain is going to have. Last night, I'm a roll of clip. I was out here with my buddy Carlos and we did all the animals are so loud all the electricity work that needed to be done in order to run electricity out to the pond where that fountain will be plugged in whenever it arrives so as you can see we dug a whole trench right here all the way down I actually filmed it roll the clip tunnel is dug this post right here which will have the outlet on that side on the inside about to dig another trench out but that's gonna run the fountain it's hot and buggy bug spray Thanks, Tay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see it, Crows. All the way down to here, where we have that. Hello, everyone. Hi. Before the video starts, I do want to spread one message. I reposted it on my Instagram, and now I want you to use this platform, my YouTube, which is a bigger audience, to also spread the message. I posted this picture right here. It says, kids returning to school. If you see someone who is struggling to make friends or being bullied because he or she doesn't have many friends or because they are shy or not as pretty or not dressed in the most in clothes, please step up. Say hi. At least smile to them in the hallway. You never know what that person is facing outside of school. Your kindness might just make a big difference in someone's life. So I wanted to make sure I used my YouTube platform as well to push that message because it is not spoken enough about. I promise you that. Screenshot this right here, repost it on any social medias you have, and uh, hashtag stop bullying down below. Thank you so much, and uh, enjoy the video. <laughs> Boots, we're trying to unbox stuff. You squeeze your way through the fence, and then get on top of the box. Like, what are you doing, huh? Huh? What if goats swam? Like they'd be in the pool? Dude, we've been out here for what? Five minutes? By the way, I'm with my boy Cameron. I've probably been out here for five minutes and I'm dying. We got that box. Um, I'm guessing that's just, you know. This is like the tarp that goes on the ground, which I don't think we're going to use. We have the pool itself. And then we have all the metal support beams, literally. So, uh, yeah. Roll the music. I never built one this big, so I gotta look at the direction. This is gonna take a minute, M more than a minute. It's just like a saying. It's probably gonna take what three hours. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. All right, it's time for the best part. We gotta spread the pool pond out. All right, fellas, I just set the pool pond up, and that's the height of the pool pond. This thing is so much bigger than I thought. I'm about to show you the spread in just a second. Look at the size difference compared to our old pool pond. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, this is a beast. Yeah, I know. Look at how big this thing is. Absolutely massive. Now, I think it's, it's bigger than I thought. It's not too big. I was about to say too big, but I don't think it's too big. Nothing could be too big. We could just put more fish in it, the bigger it is. But no, this thing is absolutely huge. Alright, now we gotta figure this out. Guess what? This is impossible alone, by the way. This thing is absolutely massive i mean that's the height how tall are you cam six four. six four and look at him that thing is past his waist i'm going to be able to put anything i want in here anything this thing is crazy so we got to go all the way around but the the gist of it is these bigger tubes go on top they connect to the little you know elbows yeah those go down to the ground and then we put them through that and cap it at the bottom so we're going to do that about 
How many more times? 45? So I'll see you in 40, no, I'll see you before then. <laughs> Boys and girls, the whole neighborhood woke up from that sound. This thing is absolutely massive. Cameron, it's a lot bigger than people think, I think. Okay, so it literally canceled out my sliding glass door. It, I cannot use that one anymore, no way. So I gotta resort to that one. This thing is massive. Let me just give you an idea. It is 45 inches in height. That's almost four feet tall. Literally almost four feet tall. The inside is 4,040 gallons. Keep in mind, you know that giant tank at Predatory Fins? That is 12,000 gallons. And that is a huge, like you see the size fish that are in that. This thing is next to ginormous. If not, it is ginormous. Look at this. I just want to give you a solid look. We haven't even filled it with water. It might take like five days to fill up. Got all our drainages on the side, just like that pool pond over there. We're gonna run tubes out, just like we have over there. But I'm telling you, let me hop in here real quick. Film me just in case I fall. Sturdy. Boing. All right. This thing is sick. All right, so under this though, I realize I have some, some like, you know, it's not really sharp, but it's sharper plastic from this being broken. So next step before water, we have to get blankets or towels, something out of the house that I'm gonna get in trouble for taking out, even though it's my house. But I need to lay them under this pool pond so that that does not get pierced with all the water weight, you know? All right, so let's do that. Dude, oh. <laughs> Pose is on. Now the reasoning I am filling this pond up, I just want some bottom weight on the bottom of this pool so that if it does get windy over the course of the next few days while this filter is still coming to my house, it won't just blow away or the legs won't like open up or something. So just about like two inches of water at the bottom should do and we'll be good. As the water's filling up, you see all these creases? I gotta make sure everything is flattened. Spread out as much as it possibly can be. I did end up putting that tarp under where that pointy part was, so we're good there. Much more padded right here. We're good to go. Caferos, this is insane. Like, I honestly did not know it was this big, I promise you. It's huge. I could get any fish I want. I'm just gonna pull out all the sides and get all these creases out now. I put the camera down, I went inside, I had a nice little, you know, full course meal, McDonald's. But yeah, this thing is an absolute hoss. Once I do get the filtration, I am gonna need a pump that pumps about that exact pressure out and makes about that exact flow and aeration. Although I'm gonna have that aerator in the middle of this, water will be flowing, the water is gonna go up to this black circle right there. So this drainage thing right here, the water will be up to here and go out of this, down a PVC pipe, and into the grass. Similar to our one over here. There's the hole, overflows, goes down that white PVC right there, underground, runs under, and out to the pond right there. Hello, piggies. What's going on, everyone? I have these giant sails. They're all around the farm, in every single enclosure, pretty much. Provide shade for the animals, and in this case, it would be for the fish. Keeps the algae away. That's why that one's over the pig's mud pit. Keeps the water cold and keeps the algae out. I think I'm gonna need to do one off that corner of the roof, that corner of the roof, and do a four by four out of the ground right here and attach it from there so I have it at least covering half this. Depending on where the sun is, it could be covering almost all of it. But with this big of an opening on top, we are most definitely going to need 
a sale. As well as on this side, I know this looks so tiny. Now that you see something like that, this one looks really, really tiny. But this itself is 12 feet all around. That one's just 15 feet all around and a foot higher. That's where the big mama jamba fishes are gonna go, and this is where the baby mama jamba fishes are gonna go. But yeah, maybe connect the one from that side of the roof to that side of the roof, and then do a sail out this way and do a post right here out of the grass. That way we won't have to drill into the concrete. If needed, we're gonna have to, and we'll do a post out of the concrete. It'll probably be a metal post then. Yada, 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 you know what I'm talking about. We're gonna need sails for both these pool ponds so we don't have an allergy issue ever again. For those of you who haven't watched the videos in the channel lately, first of all, welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, it's right down below. That pond right there is going to get all the big fish out of here so that they can grow even bigger in there because a lot of fish actually grow to the size of their tank, their aquarium. These catfish are getting so big, there's so many of them, and I need to clean this pond. So all the catfish are going in there, I'm gonna end up getting everything out of the 160, probably putting it in here, and what will be in here is the Oscars, the Garami, all the stuff that really feeds off, you know, pellets, and won't get eaten once these catfish get absolutely huge. Big fish, smaller fish that could get pretty big. That giant Garami will get in there one day. But like I was mentioning, for those of you who are new here, I'm taking all the fish out of here, putting them in there, so that I can clean this out, because this pond has like a coat of algae on it. It'll just take a lot of scrub, look at the catfish, look at them. <laughs> It'll take a lot of scrubbing and um, muscle work, which I, you know I've got that. Not really, but we'll get it done. Which then I will remove the fish I want to take out of here and then put back in there. Yes, this is an old pool pond full of trash, if you were wondering. So it is a couple hours later. I'm talking like maybe five, six hours later. The pond is finally fully filled up. I've got to get just one of our aerators, so one of these. We're gonna get this whole pond pretty much ready for the filter to arrive. Okay, we're back out here in the backyard. Check out the pond. It's fully filled up now. And on the other side of where it's fully filled up, similar, like I mentioned, I have yet to bury the PVC, but I did do the whole drainage thing just like the other one. As you can see right here, I've got the PVC down into there. It'll go underground right here, and you won't see any of this all the way out to hopefully that would be a pond and it'll go into there. So back in here, it's time to unbox our aerator. So we got the big old stone right here. Look at the size of the stone. There's that. Open up the aerator. This absolute beast of an aerator right here. We got all of our aerating tubing. Oh, I don't even have to jump in. I thought I was going to have to jump in to go out there and place it. Here we go. There it is. Oh my, of course my camera goes blurry. But that's what I'm talking about. That's like a flow right there. Wow, that thing is like kicking ass. That's a beast of an aerator, I'll tell you that. So that will be going at all times in this pond. There'll be the well water consistently flowing in and overflowing, just like that one. And then there'll be the filtration on here as well. Maybe two filters. One filter is 4,000 gallons an hour, which is probably just enough for this pond as it's 4,040 gallons. But remember that filter is pumping 4,000 an hour. So I believe I'm gonna need two of them just so we could just double that 8,000 gallons kicking butt, you know, and this water will be clear. But that aerator itself, look at that. Thing. That is so cool. Look at that. If the bubbles come all the way out here. Say we have a hurricane or something here in Florida, we'll automatically click on switch to battery and keep pumping if the power does go out. And that's a big, big thing while having fish in here. They won't die. Well, they won't die as quickly. Eventually the battery will run out and then, okay. <laughs> that is enough for me for today. I think tomorrow I'm going to hop on to doing the holes sale thing, filtration, transferring the fish, all that type of stuff. So make sure you watch episode two of this project right here. If you have not done so already, subscribe down below, click the bell so you don't miss that kind of stuff. Follow me on Instagram at Paul Conferro and I will see you in episode two. Peace out. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's gonna be at the end.